So when Peter denied Jesus three times before the cock crowed, he lied. He lied three times. I think I need to get my glasses on here. <clears throat> he lied three times. It says, but Peter stood at the door outside. Then the other disciple who was known to the high priest went out and spoke to her who kept the door and brought Peter in. This is John 18, verse 16. Then the servant girl who kept the door said to Peter, You are not also one of this man's disciples, are you? He said, I am not. He lied. <clears throat> and it says later on down in verse 25, now Simon Peter stood and warmed himself. Therefore they said to him, You are not also one of his disciples, are you? He denied it and said, I am not. So he lied a second time. One of the servants of the high priest, a relative of him whose ear Peter cut off, said, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Peter then denied again and immediately a rooster crowed. So he lied three times about not being a disciple of Jesus and not knowing Jesus. And that means, according to Revelation 21, 8, you remember this verse because I refer to it quite often. It's at the very end of the Bible. <clears throat> and it says, But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. If Peter hadn't have repented of his lies, even one lie, then he would have ended up in the burning lake of sulfur and suffered the second death, which is irrevocable. But the fact is that he did repent. And yet he committed this sin three times, very soon, one after another. And he did it against the Lord Jesus. This is Peter. This is the rock upon whom Jesus built his church. I'm not referring to Peter himself, but the testimony of God in Peter. It was revealed to Peter by God, not by man. That's the rock. Peter's name is because it came through Peter. It wasn't Peter himself that had anything to do with it. It was God revealing it to Peter. But he did choose Peter to reveal it to. He was the first one to receive this, this testimony. And yet he denied Christ three times. After having received the, this revelation from God, he denied Christ three times when asked point blank. Now he could have said, I don't want to answer. He could have ignored them. He could have changed the topic. He could have walked away. And you'll find these strategies in the video that I made about how I stopped lying, how I stopped sinning about lying. And these are strategies of how to avoid lying. And Peter didn't avail himself of any of them. Instead, he gave in and lied to them in order to avoid being accused by them harassed by them, persecuted by them, beaten by them. Who knows what they would have done to him? Especially the last one, who was a relative of the one that he cut the ear off of. So we need to be very careful with our words. When we're trying to save our own skin, we're most likely to commit some mortal sin. And what is worse than lying? It says all liars. It's the only one in the list that says all liars. That means this is the worst. We need to not sin in order to save our own skin. And that's why Jesus said, take up your cross and follow me. That we must die to ourselves daily. Paul says, I've been crucified with Christ and I no longer live. And if you no longer live, you no longer have a skin to save. You no longer have skin in the game. 
You no longer have a will and a desire that you're trying to protect and defend and support contrary or against other people's wills and desires. You've chosen the will of God. That will of God you've taken on as your own will to do the will of God. Because Jesus himself said, not everyone who calls him Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. We talked about this in the last video. So if you have no skin in the game, if you have no will to protect and defend, then you have no reason to lie. You're willing to take whatever kind of persecution comes to you. Or if you rightly should be punished for something wrong you did, you're not going to hide it in order to avoid that punishment. And if you've done right, what's right, and you're punished because you've told the truth about it and they know about it, that you have done what's right and they don't like it and they're going to persecute you and punish you, then you take it gladly because you are supremely blessed. May the Lord bless you as you seek Him with all your heart.